Welcome back to the Wizard Shop, and in a previous Hoovy's Garage video, you see me steal his beetle from him. And today we're going to look at it, right after this. So we got you. I'm taking this beetle from you. That's not a beetle. You're talking about the Beetle Turbos. It's the wrong color, first of all, and this is not a Beetle, it's a Porsche. It might as well be a Beetle. It is not a Beetle, it's a Porsche. It, it derived, well maybe the Beetle derived from it, I don't know. Well, whatever, yes, Hitler, the whole connection. We don't want to go there. It's a 911, it's a 911, it's not a Beetle. Right, as you see, he's modeling a wonderful Corvette jacket, coat, I guess you could say. I got it in the mail from, it says, Jack Colt says to enjoy the jacket, Car Wizard. I guess this came from Jack Cole. I wanted to thank Jack for the wonderful Corvette jacket that Hoovy is modeling for us today. But on to bigger and better things. No, this isn't a beetle. We're going to get this out of the way. We're going to put the real beetle in its place. But I had someone working on this today, and it is my new hire. This is Michael. It was his first day, and he totally killed it on this car. He did excellent, excellent work. I'm very satisfied with what he did. Tell us a little bit about your, your experience, your mechanic experience. So, first of all, I got started with Hoovy right here, actually, right in high school. Uh, he was an intimate family friend, to say the least. And we got started working on cars when he got his dealer's license. Uh, putting Miatas together, combining two Miatas into one, doing oil changes that would take about three or four hours. Uh, after that, started working for Mercedes-Benz. Uh, was there for about six years, did a little bit of BMW as well, and last but not least was a little bit of Tesla. Now I'm here with the Wizard. Excellent. We're very glad to have him on board, and he keeps doing good work like this. I will definitely will plan on keeping him around. You're Thanks, Mike. You're not fired today. You're not fired today. <laughs> I'm going to get this black beetle out of the way. Shut and up! I'm going to pull the silver one in its place. <laughs> And now we have a silver beetle in its place, a 2004 Turbo S beetle. So many of these by now are destroyed, roached out. Teenagers get a hold of them and just rip them to pieces. When Hoovy brought this one into the shop and I saw such good condition it was in, I absolutely had to have it. So it's mine now. Isn't it? Yes, it's all <laughs> yours, yes. Well, today we're going to take a look at some of the things I found wrong with it already. What it's going to take to get this thing totally roadworthy, as far as I'm concerned. And we get to look under the underneath like we do so many of the other cars. So, First thing I noticed is when I went and road tested this, there's a crash and a bang in the front end. It's definitely this strut. If the beetles are rocking... Don't bother knocking. Yes, okay. <laughs> this strut has oil leaking all down the side. You'll see it when we get it on the lift. It's completely shot. But I really like these 17 inch wheels. They're really awesome. This one's dirty. But it's in really pretty good shape. It's not dinged up and beat up in really bad shape. And thinking about the previous Beetle that I had, the blue one called Squirrel, he's already been moved on to a friend, Adrian. You guys have seen him in some previous videos Subaru, Suzuki. He did two of those videos with me. Really, Car Wizard? You're getting rid of that one already? Yeah, it's already gone, in really? fact. Really? Really? Didn't I foresee that? You said, no, no, not going to happen. Well, it did happen when this thing came into my life. <laughs> my wife does this. this mm. Yes, this, this yeah. is very familiar. Yeah. But I got you, Squirtle. Yeah, and you got me this one. I know. I'm, I'm your beetle supplier. A beetle supplier. Yes. Well, let's open the hood and take a look under the hood. So there's normally an engine cover that says 20 valve and all that on top of it, but I don't like the way they look, so I took it off and threw it in the trash. It does need to have a timing belt, water pump service, I'll take care of that. I don't think it's ever been done. And a valve cover gasket. As you've seen in Hoovy's video, we did the coils and the plugs already. That's already been taken care of. But just some basic maintenance under the hood, it runs and drives great. It does have a transmission noise when you go coast, and it's the main shaft, there's a snap ring that you can put in. I've already got the kit ordered. I'll just pull a little cover off, put the snap ring in. It takes care of the, the slack that's in the main shaft. That's what causes a gear lash issue and you hear that noise on a coast. 
So there's really not a whole lot that I need to do up top other than the timing belt, water pump, and a valve cover gasket. The rest is in really good shape, luckily. Well, at least this isn't my car to have to worry about uh, all the repairs and mm -hmm. how much it's going to cost. This is all on you now, so. It definitely is. Hmm, timing belts, that's pretty involved, it looks like. Oh, it's not too bad on these. All right. That'll be a junior mint job. No. He looks really excited. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Wow, Luckily, is... I've already looked at this earlier, and there's really not a whole lot leaking. It's in very good shape. Very cool. This seepage you have, or actually I have, this seepage I have on the CV shaft is from the valve cover gasket, <laughs> leaking pretty heavily on top of the turbo and all the way down to here. You're so used to it being my problem. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> this looks really nice, actually. It does. I'm excited for you. Take a look at the brakes and the wheels here. The pads are about 20% life remaining, but that's nice and tight. Mm -hmm. Check the sway bar link. That's good. Move over to here. Brakes the same situation. It's nice and tight, but the... Oh my. Ah, look at there, the control arm. Uh. There is some of the crash bang. <laughs> Whoa. I'll just buy the whole control arm. That's scary. And you can see the strut is coated in oil all the way up and it's shot, completely shot. Goodness. That's too bad with that. Well, you're probably glad that it's a Beetle and not a Porsche part now. Oh huh? yeah, instead of $90, it'd be $900. Right. You can see where the valve cover is leaking on the turbo and all the way down. It's not real bad, but it's bad enough that I definitely want to take care of it. This spindly little downpipe is going to have to be changed out for a better one. Here's the cat. Something has happened here. I don't know. That doesn't look factory. A little stainless steel spacer there. Sleeve. Looks a like sleeve. something you would do. It does. Yes. It's definitely not factory. I don't know what happened there. Let's see. Move on back. There's the gas tank, there's exhaust, it's all stock, which it won't be for long. Oh. The brakes are about 20% back here, nice and tight. And the shocks are okay, but there's a little seepage coming from up in there. Move over to this side. Same thing on the brakes, nice and tight. The shock's not so bad at all. Luckily, I won't have to do any wheel bearings on this one. They're all good, but on Squirtle, I remember on the video, I had to replace every single one, all four of them. It was pretty crazy, but it makes sense because it had 260,000 miles on it. This one only has 130,000. So There's quite a big difference there. 113, but who's counting? 13? 113. Oh, oh, 113, that's mm -hmm. even better. Yeah, I really like the way the bumper goes. Oh yeah, like, let's take a look at that. Yes, some aerodynamics here. It's very Porsche. Makes the turbo S special. I thought this was a very Porsche type vehicle, but my friend William, who owns the Lotus in the shop, says it's not Porsche, it's Volkswagen-y. It refuses to allow it to be a Porsche. It's cool. It's it really is, cool. it is really cool. I said in my video that it wants to be a Porsche so bad, and it that, it's just it has this it has the spirit. It's it does. It has the spirit. The power it. goes to the wrong wheels, <laughs> and the engine's in the front and the back. Yeah. And it's and it's weird looking, but it, it has the spirit. It, it, does. it does. Yes. I haven't figured out what this is yet, though. Uh, Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Yes. Okay. Yes, because he goes and flies around in the in the the police phone box thing. Okay. Yeah. Well, then it's got Doctor Who sticker on it. Very good. Mm -hmm. The tires are actually pretty good on this one, all four. I was really surprised by that. They weren't on Squirtle, they were completely roached. But I guess that's pretty much it. Everything looks pretty good under there. I'm very happy with what I see. Let's get this thing back on the ground. And we won't go in your office. No, we won't go in the office.
As you can see, there's trash all in here. It's just the way I got it from Hoovy. I think he put it all in there. One thing I'm really liking about this beetle is that the, fr the dash isn't all cracked to pieces like Squirtle's was. His was just cracked all over the place. And this one's, it's not clean, it's dirty, but it's not cracked and damaged either. And Hoovy was right, 113,000 miles is all it has on it. I've got a new steering wheel coming because it's like this one's got a hard epoxy coating or I don't even know what that is. Maybe I don't want to know what that is. Maybe I should stop scratching at it. But the steering wheel is roached out. It's got the monsoon radio and it sounds very good. And of course being a Turbo S it has the six speed manual transmission. That will be getting a short shifter soon. Make that nice and tight and easy to sh shift a lot faster. The headliner is kind of floppy as you can see here. I'll be having all that redone down the street from me from an upholstery guy that Hoovy found. He's right in town. I'll pull this down and have him do the whole thing. This car is definitely worth going a little further than we did with Squirtle. Squirtle was worth a little bit of work, but finally it got to a point where it's, it's nearing 300,000 miles. It's time to move on. And I'm moving on to this one. Are you going to fix the flower vase? What should I put in it? A cactus? Well, there was a flower vase that would have been right here in this hole. Yeah. And a lot of it's gone. Maybe it needs Just one. Just the holes there. Yes, it needs a vase and a fresh flower in it. A white tulip or something? Yes. And the back seats are actually usable on this two-door. It's a beetle. A lot more so than the other black beetle that Tyler has. What Doug DeMiro does. And this is the back six seat. Six foot three or six foot four. And look at my fit. <laughs> It has the, the nice leather seats and it has a really cool theme going on that carries on around the whole car. Silver, or I guess you could call it a platinum color, and dark gray. On the doors, there's these little soft touch panels that are on. These They're usually coming apart by now, but these ones are actually fully intact, fully adhered still. I'm really happy about that. That's pretty much it for the interior on this thing. We'll go open the trunk and take a look in there, and that'll be about it. Mm -hmm. Turbo S. Okay. Ta-da! Look at that cute little cover there. It's tiny. Here's our spare tire. A Michelin XSE. Looks like everything's still there, amazingly. That's pretty cool. It's clean back here. You can fold these seats down just like I did on Squirtle. I almost use it like a pickup truck. I can haul parts, boxes of things, all kinds of... I basically used it as a truck and I could continue to do so with this little guy. So the body's in pretty good shape. I've looked it over. There's a few little scratches or things here or there. But unlike Squirtle, the clear coat's all there. I'm really happy about that. The, uh, the tail lights, the third brake light is all in good shape. It does need a new VW emblem. That's pretty common with, with the VW products. It needs the CarMax emblem to come off. There's the nice 17 inch Turbo S wheels. Only got those on the Turbo S. Look down the side guys. No dents, no dings. It's not beat up. So as you can see here, there's a few little scratches on the bumper. It's not, I think I could buff that out. That's not too bad. It may have come from whatever messed up your control arm. Cause no kidding. That was a little whack there. The emblem needs to be replaced. Again, the hood's in good condition. You remember on Squirtle, the clear coat was almost all gone on it. I need to clean the headlights on it. Do a resurface rest restoration on those. But again, on this side, no dents, no dings, it's not banged in. There is a red scratch here, like red paint scratched against it. And the VW emblem is missing on the wheel. On the Turbo and the Turbo S models, here's a little wing that comes up over 40 miles an hour. And when you get below 10, it clunks back down. It's a pretty loud clunk. Clunk, clunk. It was 45 miles an hour. No, I'm pretty sure it's 40. 45. 45? So as you can see, it's in really pretty good shape, and I'm really excited about having this Beetle. I've got a lot of plans for it. It's going to be a really, really cool Beetle when I get done with it. And I'm thankful for Tyler for actually going out and finding it for me. Unfortunately, it sent Squirtle to his grave. I don't know what they're going to do with that car. I hope they don't kill it. Poor thing.
But yeah. yes, I'm very happy for you. Yes, this is a really, really cool car. Yes, it's awesome. I'm excited for you to drive it and take it to Cars and Coffee. And it, it deserves, it, it's special. It, it's, it's, yeah. it has its place in history, the new Beetle, for sure. They only made them for two years. Yeah. It's really awesome. Well, if you're curious what kind of tools I use, check my Amazon affiliates link below. There's a list of most of every tool that I use. You can check them out. Also, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, go ahead and do that. We've got many more cool videos to come. And thanks for watching. Look around the car. Do I hit Tyler? Huh? Do I hit Tyler? Oh, I thought you said hit him. I'm like, Go back in there and do a funny thumbnail thing. A funny thumbnail? Yeah. I'll be giving it a hug. That's your butt. My butt. He, he loves to put his ass in the shot. I don't understand. <laughs> From day one, he has never been conscious of his ass in shots. Or that I stare at the screen. Well, that you fixed. The <laughs> ass thing, you still. Okay. okay. So let's post. Maybe get on the other side. Yes, so they can see the thumbnail. Yes. Yes. Love it. There.